Hi there. I'm Trina Sims of Green Star Herbs in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to talk about what's good for poor circulation. Of course, exercise is our very, very first ally, and everyone should get up and be active for at least a portion of every day. This will get your heart pumping and your blood flowing. So ally number one. But in terms of herbs that can help with poor circulation, these generally fall into two classes. One group is considered to be supportive of the health of the heart and of the circulatory system. Another group tends to stimulate the action of the heart and to open up the small capillaries and blood vessels to allow the blood pressure to lower and the blood to flow more smoothly through the body. Among the first group of herbs most famous for supporting heart health and circulatory health are all the plants within the rose family. This extends from the apple tree all the way through hawthorn bushes. Among this group, most Western herbalists use hawthorn leaf and flower in combination with hawthorn berry, and many add, as I do, rose hip into that blend to create a wonderfully delicious, very supportive tea for poor circulation. This should be drunk on a regular basis and will provide a very beneficial effect within a short period of time. Another group are those that we consider stimulating to the heart and circulatory system and those that open or have a diaphoretic action on the small capillaries and blood vessels. These include the hot peppery herbs like ginger and its related plant galanga, which has a somewhat hotter flavor than ginger. Also among this group are things like black pepper and red or cayenne pepper. These are some of the natural approaches to poor circulation.